incident. <laughs> and welcome to Spotlight. And today's Spotlight, the Spotlight, I think I've said it like a gazillion times. <laughs> the Spotlight will be on the movie that I watched last night called The Ice Cream Man. And the movie is about an ice cream man <laughs> going to the uh, the neighborhood, uh, a school neighborhood, you know, and an ice cream man selling ice cream to the children after school. However, the this movie turns sideways because in the beginning you think that it's such a you know happy family movie and it turn, turns out you know something wrong happens and later on it becomes like a full-on full blast horror movie so what do I think about this movie I, I thought it was charming it had its uh, charming moments I thought that the the actor that played the the proverbial ice cream man was kind of Cookie, funny, but scary at the same time. And uh, I, I love the uh, climactic battle scene. And, and this movie is, isn't only a horror uh, comedy movie, but it um, also gives us a life lesson that um, we should always be careful, you know, with children should be very care careful when they, they go out there and buy something from an adult, like ice cream or candy. And you should always go there with a chaperone, you know, with your, your, your parent or your guardian or your, your buddy. Like, don't go out by yourself. Kids, are you paying attention? Yeah, pay attention. So don't just go out there and buy something from a complete stranger because they may be out to get you and they may be out to abduct you and kidnap you and who knows. I mean, some kids were lucky enough to live to tell the tale and others were not, unfortunately, because there are a lot of crazy psychos out there. So that's the lesson of the movie, Ice Cream Man, and I highly uh, recommend for you guys to see this movie on uh, YouTube. It's available on, on YouTube, and it is a film produced by Jeremy, Jeremy who happens to own the building of this, of this studio where we're at, the social media shows is here in his studio. I'm not going to tell you where it is. <laughs> but it's here. And so there you have it. And that was my sweet and brief review of the Ice Cream Man. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to sing Rocket Man by Elton John. Well, I think that the way they created the movie, it kind of has that Stranger Things vibe to it. And also, you know, for those of you who watch Stranger Things, you know what I'm talking about. And also it has the um, It. If you guys have seen It by uh, Stephen King, you guys will remember it. So I'm not saying that it's a copy of those things it, it more like it drew its inspiration from this this uh, these films 
and it was very uh, it was very well filmed and um, the cinematography was fantastic although I could say that the climactic part was a little bit cheesy for my taste but it did the job <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not going to spoil the movie for you guys. You guys have, have to see it. And yeah, like um, it's a movie, it's a movie with a lesson and and the actors did really well. A few of them didn't do well. Um it it seems like once again this is you know, I I I watch a lot of Hollywood movies and the way uh, good actors, you know, perform, they really perform from their art, from their heart and their art. <laughs> and, you know, let's take, for example, Meryl Streep, because she is like the highest, highest standard of acting in Hollywood. When Meryl Streep's, it seems like she doesn't perform for the cameras. She just performs and she gets into that character and all you see is like a natural performance and that is what I'd like to see more in these inde independent movies. An acting that comes from the heart, it, it shouldn't feel uh, forced. Um, of course it's different if you guys are, you know, doing a high camp comedy so that's comedy is a slightly not slightly but a whole different animal you know but if you're doing like a like a drama horror it has to be more the acting has to be more down to earth and um, shall we say hyper realistic and that is uh, what we're looking for in these movies you know regardless if it's devoid of special effects or the filmmaker can't afford to go to ILM to have their special effects done you know I mean you do. all the people will focus on is on the acting and it's kind of jarring and a bit cringeworthy if the performance isn't good and and one thing that I also would like to suggest with um, independent actors, you know, for these independent movies is to maybe practice some more, like rehearse those scenes more until you know those scenes like the back of your hand. So when it's time to <laughs> perform, like you just do it naturally, it's just drinking water, just like I perform my karaoke. I sing it over and over every single day and, you know, much to uh, Puressa's dismay because she's probably sick of me <laughs> singing the same song over and over again. Beauty but I'm, she, she's singing beauty and the beast. Over <laughs> all? Yes, yeah, so. Overall, I thought that the movie was cute and, and charming. And once again, some particular scenes were cringeworthy. But I love this. And hats off to Jeremy. I wish that Jeremy was here today so I could interview him. But perhaps next time, next time he's going to be here. By the way, shout out to Maria Purissima, Maria Pureza for putting all these lights behind me. Don't you see these beautiful lights? They are gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. I just, I just love it. And I love the studio. Yes, it's very conducive to expressing myself. <laughs> yes. And so, I love being here, social studio, making a big fool out of myself. <laughs> and, there you have it. This is another episode of Spotlight. And don't you forget for those out there who are Weight Watchers, don't forget to eat your celery because it's the vegetable that eats you. 
chowder. <laughs>